All right, let's go back and check something. Hmm? Got a damp key card. Free Fish Incorporated. We have to find somewhere to use this. You'll be fine, Circuit Man. On to the Tier 7 boss by Lollipop and Yuneko Lea. Hold on, why is the rank just sitting here? Where is the tier boss? There's a note. To whoever comes across this letter, due to undecided circumstances, I've been forced to relinquish my role as a tier boss. Feel free to take this tier rank with no strings attached. There is also no need to inform our benevolent, generous, genius host, Ernest Will, of these circumstances. I wish you the best in achieving a legitimate victory in this tournament. Sincerely, Tier 7 Boss. It does. It can't be a freebie. <laughs> of course. Boki Lamira. Uh oh. Now they're confusing us as being the tier boss. Uh oh. Now they're confusing us as being the tier boss. Well, if you wish to do with us, that's fine by me. Cyber Zoinkala? Good point. They also have the power to copy special weapons. Another call back to the line, men. <laughs> no, don't skip the cutscene. Darn it. Let's rumble! Oh gosh. They have access to combo weapons. No, not the Gem Hornets! Oh my goodness! They're pulling out the triple weapons now. And we win! Control C, Control V. And this marks the end of the Fine Pine, or most of it to be specific. There's still one thing left to do here. A message from Dr. Ernest.
Element Man. I can't understand your gestures. Technically, there's no tier 7 boss, but they're close enough to counting. Severus, man. Hey, maybe later in the game, we'll meet the actual tier 7 boss. Cerberus is here to fight for honor. She originates from the game Copy Kitty. Now that's a game I eventually want to play on the channel, and barely know anything about. <laughs> Base interruption. Cerberus Man fights for everlasting war. Imagine if I was watching this cutscene with the base costume. Seven down, eight left to go. Awesome indeed. Can't wait to eventually fight Forge Woman. Now, to find that secret... Aha! Access granted! Oh, hang on. Goodbye, goodbye. How would an axe work remotely? Anyways, we're down in the free fish organization. Reporting for duty. We switch costumes. Nothing to worry about. Key card? More like tree card. One in each hub. There are at least 500 plushies to collect, so they're right. I desire free fish. Oh, it's actually a typo. 
Beat isn't here to rescue me. We can't jump down this pit. Can we still get in here? Nope. Fish Fiend. Marine Research and Education. A Tink Tank for Fish Tanks. Count me in. That sounds fun. They're studying faux fish, not real fish. Procure the marine compendium given to you by the fish fiend. Use this to document the various types of aquatic robots you catch. You can also keep track of different color variants. I agree. That's why I'm not rushing through this game. It's more enjoyable that way. Real Man by Lollipop, Yoshi Adam, Snow and Pyro, and RCRD Cat. This is the bonus level of Tier 7. Okay, so it's like a hook shot. No, I wasn't really involved in the development of this game. In Magma 2, I sort of was, in a very small capacity, but for this one, no. I did do one other thing for the game, and we'll see that later. And these are like moving platforms. I do want that token, no matter what. They slowly descend as well, which is the other problem. Can I re- Wait. Yes! I'm really surprised that worked. I thought there'd be some hidden anti magnet beam system in place there. And I also survived the return trip, thanks to those being damage spikes. Precarious, but less precarious than it actually looks. If you play through the tiers in order, this extra stage shouldn't pose too much trouble to you. Oh my... The alarm clocks also trigger those, but they are destroyable. Keep cranking that lever. 
Up and at him. Well, that's one way of having a block train, I guess. Nothing special there except Squishy Dad. Zoom! Oh no. <laughs> Went too fast through that room. Be gone, alarm clock. I don't consider the anchor fish shield attacker variants because they're not shielded and they don't block any of my shots. Yep, later night stream. I decided that, hey, I want to return back to Magma Tree, so now's a good time. If I were to rate all the extra levels, this would be my second favorite one, Max the Magnum Man. I'm gonna eat the head. Remember, in Mega Man, damage boosting is your friend. The crank moves further, the more damage I deal to it. This was a good overall level, pretty fun. Real man. What are you fishing up this time? The mini fishers are going for the bait. Specifically in the order they fall. GG. Took 10 minutes, could have accomplished it within 6 minutes had it not died as much. True that. I actually expected this fight to be a bit harder. The mini big fishes look adorable, despite being almost completely metallic. It actually shows where we can encounter these fishes, but only if we completed those levels. Sorry, that looks a bit goofy, rising up like that. So here's something I missed in the previous six tiers. After defeating the tier boss, Proto Man shows up to give some advice.
This would be the correct answer if we had a flame weapon. In any case, this truly concludes Fine Pine. Another step up compared to the previous tier, and it ended with a pretty fun level.